Hello, my name is Ioannis Dizoglu and in this tutorial we're gonna take a step further and start developing forms. Forms are used by the end user in order to update, delete and insert a new record. Now, the first thing we need to do is select the first table, then go to create and then select form. The form is already created for us straight away. The problem we have though we have on our form we display the ID fields. Now the ID fields for the end user means nothing. For us as developers we know how important the ID fields are. And if you forgot, don't worry I will explain in a sec why we added the ID fields here. Now let's fix that. Let's use the ID fields as a backend and the name of this ID fields as a front end for the end users. We're going to do this by going to the top TBL customer, right click here and select the design view option. Another way to do it, you go to the view, design view. Now if you won't be able to see the view option and design view is because you are on different tab. Make sure the design tab is selected. We we'll Go to view, design view. What we're going to do, we're going to increase the, the, the width and the height of our form. We're going to highlight the fields. We then right click, select layout, and then we're going to remove layout. By removing the layout, we'll be able to actually move the individual fields, attributes away. So the first combo box I'm going to create is the country. I'm going to place the country here, the IDFK foreign key on this side. Eventually, I'm going to delete this. So what is a combo box? A combo box will allow me to display the name of the country. However, the information will be saved will be the ID. So basically, the combo box will show me just the label for the end user. So I'm going to select the design tab, locate the combo box. If you're not sure which one is the combo box, if you hover over with your mouse, you will be able to see the little pop-up com combo box. I'm going to click once, click and drag here, and I'm going to make sure the first option selected, I want the combo box to get the values from another table or a query. In this case, I'm looking for the table country. So the first table is country, I'm going to click next. Now, I want to actually display the name of the country, so I'm going to move the name to the selected fields, click next, and I want to display the names based on the ascending order, click next. Here I've got some countries, click next, and this is the most important part, make sure the store that value in this field is selected option, and then from the drop down list we want to store, we don't really want to store the name, we want to store the ID, we want to store the ID on the country ID FK. So I'm going to select the country IDFK and then click finished. As you can see here, I've got a combo box. I'm going to reduce the size here. I'm going to increase the size on that one. And I'm just going to change this to country. I will then highlight these fields. I'm going to go to the home tab, make it bold, change the font color, increase the size slightly. What I can also do, select these options, change the background color, select the label, change the background color as well. And now I'm going to go to view and select form view. As you can see here, ID number one for the country is England. If I change this to two and press enter, shows me Greece. If I drop down the list, if I select Italy, Italy is ID number three. So I know now that my combo box is working fine and it does send the values to the ID field. So therefore, I can go there, view, design view, and delete the ID FK. So if I go back here on the view, so I have created now a user-friendly interface. So people now know exactly what one, two, three, etc etc means. However, 
If I select England, England is ID number one. If I select right click here and select save, I'm going to save my form as FRM customer. As you can see here, my form is displayed on this side. If you will not be able to see your form, make sure the settings are set to object type and all access objects. Now, if I go to the customer table and check my first record, which is that one here, and go to the country section, country, as you can see here, I've got ID number one. Now, if I go back to my form, it changed from England to Italy, and Italy is ID number three, because we saw this before, but if, we forgot, if you forgot about it, don't worry. So if we right-click here and select Save, so we save the record, go to the table customer, as you can see here, the country ID changed to three. So if I go back to the form, Italy contains five characters. Now I've replaced five characters with just one character. So if I've got 50 million Italians on my database, I only have to re store 50 million characters. Alternatively, if I did not have a foreign key and I had the actual word 50, uh, Italy, it's 50 million times five characters is 250 million characters. So basically I saved 200 million characters just because I've added a foreign key. We follow the same process for the country, town, nationality, and title. I'm just going to show you one more time how to add a combo box. I'm going to the design view. Another way to go to the design view, you right click here, go to the design view. You select the IDFK field, you put it on the side. You deselect it, you go to the design tab, select combo box, you draw a combo box, you select in the first option, I want the combo box to get the values from another table. This time I want to select the county. I'm going to click once on the county, click next. I want to display the name, move the name to the selected fields, next. I want to display the name based on the ascending order, next. Here I've got some counties, next. I want to store the values to the county IDFK, find the county IDFK, and then I need to fin click finished. Then I need to select here and just type county. I'm going to select this option, sorry, this option here, because I like the formatting. I'm going to go to the Home tab, select the Format Painter brush, and then click once there. And straight away I've got the correct formatting on my field above. Let's test it before I before you delete the foreign key. You need to test that the form and the combo box is fully working. So as you can change in the ID, the, the actual county, the ID changes and vice versa. If I put here one and press enter, my county changes. If I press type two, press enter, my county changes. And I know now that th that works. I'm going to go to the design view and I can now delete this field. By following the same process, you will need to uh, add a few more combo boxes to ensure that your form is nice, uh, nice and easy to use by the end users. So I'm going to go to the Format Paint Bros, double click it, and I'm just going to click all the attributes here. I'm going to click once to deselect it. That one did not change for some reason. I'm going to select the label. Double click to lock it. I'm going to do that and deselect it and let's go to the form view. Here I've got some navigation buttons. I can actually flick to different records back and forth and if I wish to add a new record I can click on this option here and I can add a new name here I've got gender ID, I'm just going to put one because I don't have a combo box yet here 
Here date of birth is, uh, we set the date type to date and time, so therefore we have a data picker. However, once we select the date, we can actually change the year, so it's easier, quicker. I'll put space there. Phone number, as you can see here, the phone number doesn't look properly, so I'm going to go to the design view. Uh, let's move this a bit to the side. Let's increase, highlight this and increase the width. We'll do the same for that, this side here to ensure all the information is fully displayed. As you can see here, information is fully displayed. Now the date and time using uh, right align. So if you're not happy with that, you go to the design view, you go to the home tab and like in Microsoft Word, you can select all this and change the alignment to left. Highlight all these, change the alignment to left. Let's go to the form view, and there you go. As you can see here, that one doesn't display properly. You can go again to design view, select the fields, increase the width, increase the height, make it look the same. Consist keep try to keep consistency. Consistency will make will ensure that your database looks forms look nice uh, looks nice and professional. So you can select both of them and increase the height at the same time. You can use the arrows, top, left, right, bottom arrow keys on your keyboard to move things around. You can highlight them, you can move them around with your mouse. Play around and within a few hours you can easily master the forms. So this is how you create forms by using Microsoft Access. One more final thing I would like to cover is how to actually replace this ugly icon here. We're going to go to the design view and we select the icon here and delete it. Now we can go online and we can actually find an image like Salford City College a picture. I'm going to minimize this, increase the size here, right click and select paste. As you can see the picture is pasted straight away from me. I'm just going to reduce the header. I'm just going to remove the TBL. The word just customize just fine. I'm going to increase the size, make it bold, change the color, uh, maybe change the background color here. Let's make it a bit brighter. Let's change the color to something that's more suitable. Okay, try to match the colors of the Software City College. Increase the size. And I'm going to highlight it, center line it. And I'm going to uh, increase the size. Let's go bigger. Let's go a bit smaller. You can also type the size. Let's make it 40. That will do. We can put this. No, controls that don't do. Doesn't like that. Let's put this like that here. And let's test it by go to the phone view. This looks like a professional, I think. It needs a couple more tweaks. But I think you get the gist now. Uh, you can flick through the records. You can also add a new record. And finally, don't forget to save your form. Thank you for watching.